Okay, so you want to look over here. Uh, okay, so this is David, and David's been in our practice now for since January. That's when you first came to January, one of our yeah. uh, food workshop that mm -hmm. I had. Yep. And uh, he's really implemented a lot of different things on health. And uh, we just want to kind of go over some success stories because you had type 2 diabetes, right? Correct. Type 2 diabetes. And you mind giving your age? Uh, 76. 76. So you were diagnosed with diabetes for how long? 15 years. 15 years. So right around 50. Uh, correct. 15 years old. Okay. Yeah. So just kind of give the folks out there what's happened with... Um, like your insulin, because you tried metformin and that didn't work, so they put you on, on insulin. So what's happened with your insulin usage? Okay, uh, since I've been on the keto, my insulin usage has gone down one-third to one-half. Okay, so that's like huge. <laughs> I mean, that's like a big thing. And this is all, uh, you basically you implemented significant dietary changes and you started coming here on a regular basis and, and started reading a bunch of books. Right. Yep. Correct. Um, so what about your weight loss? Tell them about your weight. Uh, when I uh, started at the clinic here, I weighed 220, and I'm down to 185 now. My waist was 38. It's now 34. Thir okay, so that's a 35 pounds lost in here. We're in uh, November, so we're talking about 10 months. So about three pounds a three pounds a, a week or three pounds a month. Three pounds. A month. I mean that's pretty. That's a nice, nice, like steady, steady eddy pace. So, yeah. so that's good. And then your A1C was at eight point five, mm -hmm. right? And now it's yeah. seven point one, right? Correct. So that's down substantially. And then we just got done talking, and you also talked about like your endurance. Um, tell them a little bit about your your endurance kind of thing. Uh, much. Uh, uh, I go through the day and I'm not exhausted at night after an eight-hour shift. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you're still working. I'm still working. working. And you, you have like a standing job where you're walking all over, right? Um, right. It, it, it's a combination of sitting and walking. Walking, okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, what would you tell the folks out there? Because there's a lot of people that are, you know, in their in their 50s, 60s, 70s that uh, you know, have type one diabetes. They feel like crap, okay, they don't feel yes. very good, yeah. they're on medication, they're probably on metformin, insulin, they're probably on blood pressure medication, they're probably on a stat medication, they go to the doctor, they get pills, and then they just feel each and every day they get worse, and each and every year they get one more medication. What would you say to someone that's out there that's that's like listening to this and you can make an impact on their life? Well, uh, keto works. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no doubt about it. Uh, uh, I won't lie to you, it will put you up against every wall in your head on what you consider to be comfort food. <laughs> yeah, so I get that, that's kind of like a thing, is it's kind of like yeah. more of like a, it's a mind shift, I think. It's a mind shift. Because we've all been uh, brainwashed into thinking low fat. Remember when everything was low fat? Exactly. Like fat was the enemy, right? Like yes. fat's going to cause you fat, fat's going to cause... Uh, heart disease and diabetes, and the truth of the matter is now the research is showing they were wrong. That was exactly wrong. So what keto is, is just more good, healthy fats. Uh, what's one of the biggest things that you eliminated out of your diet? Uh, grain. Grains, yep. All grains. All grains, and that's pro, grains are pro-inflammation. Pro, pro they cause inflammation in your body. They cause diabetes, they cause heart attack, they cause strokes. And if you follow the government's advice, this is what they're telling you to eat. Back in the 80s, everything was low fat, and we had nothing but skyrocketing diabetes, skyrocketing cancer, and skyrocketing heart disease. So this is a proof. Like The man's 76 years old, and he's like reversing his diabetes. Like You've actually reversed it. Like You've gotten better. Yes. Like It's better now. It's reversed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, it's, I'm not maintaining. I am getting better. Yeah, and that's the thing. So no yeah. matter what age you're at, you can get better as long as you implement different strategies and techniques. <clears throat> and the things that David had to learn were basically, you're going against like decades and decades of information that's jammed in your brain, and you have to think differently and act differently to get a different outcome. Correct. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say to the folks out here, David, that are listening to you? Persevere. Yeah. Just hang in there. Uh, you'll fall off every now and then. Human nature. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but just just keep going. The turtle always wins the race. Exactly. <laughs> All right, take care.